Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I'm here to give you a status update. From time to time I get behind my camera and I show you what we have been working on, Pops and I. And uh, this month is a really cool month, we just finished two bugs and uh, I think you're really going to like them. So I'm going to get behind the camera and show you what we have been working on. Let's go. Okay, so here is a beauty I just finished this month. This is a 1967 all numbers matching beetle. Uh, man, 67 is a killer year, guys. Um, you know, it's pretty much my Mason Dixon line when it comes to you know restoring these cars. I like to finish off at 67. I don't mind doing the later models, but um, to be honest, you know, the amount of money you put into these cars and time and effort to restore them, um, in my view, my personal view, you're still better off with a 67 and earlier car. Um, but here's what we just finished. It basically, I painted it a color very close to what was offered that year. There's a color called Java Green, uh, but uh, this color is actually uh, a little darker than Java Green, uh, but still stays true to the VW feel, look, uh, the family pretty much. Uh, so really nice color. I picked a 2002 VW Audi color uh, called Racing Green. It's a flat, uh, it's no metallic and uh looks really nice you know pretty close to java just, just just a little bit darker i got the bumpers here from wolfsburg west uh, i still think that they have the best bumpers on the market today this is all new stainless steel trim that i put on the car pretty nice i know they didn't have stainless steel back then but again i'm making art on wheels here guys so i want this to look nice here's the interior again one of my signature kits through SoFine, of course, and uh, basically went with beige tweed, uh, light beige here, brown piping. Uh, makes the car look really nice. Uh, I like to use the TMI foam actually when it comes to uh, padding these seats. Uh, makes the, the material look really nice, stretches it nicely, no wrinkles really, and uh, she's killer looking. Headliner is also in the tweed cloth, kind of bounces off the, the upholstery nice, pretty cool. People ask me a lot, you know, why don't you use the vinyl headliners that were original to these cars? Why? Um, I just think it's cheap, it looks cheap looking. Um, I don't like the way it feels, um, I don't know, I just think the cloth in my opinion uh, brings the value up on these cars. Yes, I go with the wide white walls. I know 67s would have had a thin white wall, but um, this is just more of our signature look. Um, most of our cars get the wide whites, um, if not almost all of them. So I always opt for that. And the outside beauty ring, it's just our signature look again. So the tires are the 165R15 Radial Coker Nostalgia Classic Tire. I can get, you can get that from either jags.com or summitracing.com. And as we come around back, this is a actual NOS uh, rear bumper for 67 that I had in stock, so I used that. And uh, you know, once again, everyone, uh, you're supposed to know that 67 is that one year bumper where it had the little slight slope coming down here in the towel bar. Now you can get the Wolfsburg West uh, bumpers, which are really nice, but they will not have the slope. So if you can get your hands on the sloped towel bar, just send that out to get chromed and then mount that on the new Wolfsburg bumper. Now here's the original motor. Let's take a look. And completely rebuilt. Zero miles pretty much. And runs like a dream. Uh, I get into this car, I have the fun factor comes out. I mean, I'm used to the older cars with the 25 and 36 horsepower and you know how slow they are on the highway. So, from a change, you know, from time to time, I, I I get a change going, and I jump in the '67, and it's a joy to drive. Um, so, and people ask me about the distributors. I am a huge fan of the Bosch cast iron distributors. I like a cleaner looking engine compartment. I'm not a huge fan of the Vacuum Advance. I know that was stock on this car, uh, but the 019 uh, cast iron Bosch distributor is working really, really nice on this car. Uh, just like I showed a video on my 36 horsepower motors, I like to use the 010 uh, Bosch cast iron distributor. So the 019 is also excellent for 40 horsepower motors up to uh, 1600 single port motors. These, this distributor is really good. Uh, so if you have a chance to get them, they're not cheap, 
but uh, I like how it cleans up the engine compartment. Gives you a little more kick on the highway. Uh, they're pretty cool. So, real quick, yeah, these uh, these tins were powder coated. I did a video on powder coating, uh, but um, this particular engine, I did have the tins powder coated. The only thing I do not powder coat, I do not powder coat the pulleys, because uh, a lot of times the powder coating gets inside the inner area where it's supposed to mount on the jenny or where it's supposed to mount on the crank, say for this crank pulley, and uh, it builds up too much and it's very difficult to to get the pulleys on. And you kind of want that surface clean. So uh, unless you want to scratch it out, um, that's fine, but I usually paint the pulleys up, but everything else is uh, pretty much powder coated. So that's the 67 that we wrapped up and uh, it's got all the nice little features on it and accessories that uh, most people do want uh, to bring out the character in the Beetle. Um, you know, we have the pop out windows. I buy these brand new most of the time. Um, brand new interior, of course. Uh, I went with tan running boards, but I do like the wide moldings. I know they would have had thinner moldings on these years. So I went with the wide molding. Uh, just To me, I like the cars to look older. The older I can make them look, the better for me. Uh, it's just my my opinion, my feel. So, but um, all right, that's that 67. Let's move on to the next car. 